Good evening, everyone. What? Oops. <clears throat> Man, I hope that recorded. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pirate Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where we are playing Reseteer, an item shop's tale. At least I think that's the subtitle. I am joined by yep. the Akamura. Hi, everyone. Who is doing 90% of the voices. Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, that was useful. Fuck. Yeah. Ah. Please don't die, Louie. Jeez. The enemies um, in this game have predictable attack patterns, but you have to kind of, you know, memorize them. Which, uh, I have forgotten everything since. So really, you wasted a critical strike on a box. So, like, these guys, you sort of want to trick them into doing a fire punch and then walk around them. It w probably won't take me that long to get back into this. The other thing with the dungeons is they have, uh, regular, um... Regular? Would that be the word? Predictable, um leveling scheme. So, like, all the enemies here are level 3, which means all of the enemies on the third level of this dungeon will always be level 3. And it helps you kind of plan around leveling and grinding if you want to. Uh, eh. Which is good. That way, if you ever do get into trouble, you just dick around, grind a little bit, and you're strong and ready to go. And then we have a lot more items to sell! Exactly. Yay! Capitalism! Ho! Ow! <laughs> Come on, do it again. Ah, ha ha ha. Yeah, I've got the technique down. Jerk. Um, oh, there wait, was he left something up there. Chestnut. Yay! Love her run cycle. So, uh, so you were saying that you, um, in the last episode that you taught yourself Japanese. Uh, yep. how much did you teach yourself? Um, I taught myself basic conversational stuff like, hello, how are you, the different gendered pronouns. I was, like, just getting into hiragana and katakana, and I, like, we moved, so I had to box up all of my stuff. Oh, uh, that was back in Alaska? No, this was when I was moving from my house into... Oh, across into the town. The, yeah. So... I to say, if it was Alaska, I would have been, like, five or six. There's no way I would have been able to return for that long. So... So you still have the stuff in the boxes somewhere. Yep, somewhere. Ah, damn it. I need to get a better dictionary, though. The one I have is super outdated. And, like, very faded. I wonder if, uh, there was a game that the Game Grumps did, and it's on my wish list, um, called, I think it's Go Go Nippon? Or Nippon? Nippon! Um, it's a game that basically teaches... It's it's more of a tour guide than an actual game, although it is kind yeah. of part dating simulator. But you, all you of You can the, really tell how much someone knows Japanese based on how they pronounce stuff. Right. That's true. But anyway... That was adorable. Thank you. And I'm embarrassed. I mean, what was the... You're fine. You don't know anything about the language. That's awesome. I didn't realize I clanged into the wall. Ow! Um, anyway, so, uh, if you, I don't know if you saw the Game Grumps LP of it, but all the converse, like, all the dialogue in the game is shown in both Japanese and English, unless there's a specific reason that it shouldn't be. Like, um, there's a, toward the end, two of the characters converse in English, so a third character can't understand what they're saying. And so it's only in English. Like, it's only displayed in English, which is really cool. Anyway, my point of that spiel is that if you're interested in it, uh, and interested in that game, let me know. I think it's on my wish list. And I'll keep an eye on interested. it. I'm a little bit interested. I'm sorry? I'm a little bit interested. Because then, like, you might even be able to teach yourself even more. Yeah. Like, because you will literally I mean, see a direct translation between... That's assuming, of course, you can that. pronounce the written text, which, you know, I don't... I don't. Does it include kanji? I had a lot of trouble with kanji. I honestly don't know what kanji, kanji is. They're the really, like, the characters that get, like, super complicated. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't... What's the other one? Hiragana and also yeah. katakana. Those are... I see. I, I don't remember. They're phonetic. It's a phonetic language. So Ego, like, Ego Raptor, I think, said what it was, but I can't remember. I wouldn't have retained that anyway. Yeah. Since yeah. the word is a slightly nonsensical, like I, I, I 
vaguely know what kanji is. Like, I've heard of the word, but it doesn't register since I don't really know yeah. it. Like, it's mostly memorization. Just like remembering how long English words are spelled. I see. Oh, hey, we made it to floor five. With the big ass treasure chest. And possibly a boss, but possibly not. This is. Did I. do it? I did, didn't I? Yeah, that's it. I did it! I cleared the Hall of Trials! Oh, sweet mystery of life, now you'll give me money! Yeah, Way to go, Louie! Reset! Tear! This is all thanks to you guys! This is all well and good, but there is treasure hit. There is a treasure chest just ahead. It behooves us to investigate thoroughly. Tear, you really do like going for the money, don't you? Well, I, I do not spout such foolishness. There is no need to treat me like a flying ball of greed. Aw. Hey, hey now, you're totally a ball of greed. <laughs> you're a loan shark. I love me some treasure too. Don't worry, Tear, I feel you on this. Really, you two completely misunderstand me. Alright. Yep, just the one room. Smack. So, the contents of the chest? Ha! Huh, give me just a second here. Hey! Wow, cards! I don't think we can sell those. <laughs> so, this is an Adventurer's Guild card. Uh... Uh, here, reset. Take one, like we promised. Huh? Oh, yeah, okay. While you did promise to give us your card eventually, we are not so crass as to demand your very first card. You really should think about who you want to give your first... Nah, I want this. Reset, I beg you, please, take my first card. And also my V card. Seriously, you're hot. I'd love to. Thanks, Louie. But not the second one. Oh. Awesome! I can't wait to adventure with you two some more. Murde, really now, young people. I wonder how old Reset is. I've been calling her a seven-year-old, but she's clearly older than that. Hey, Tear, what's this thing that just showed up? I imagine she's like somewhere in her late teens, early twenties. Really? She is living alone. Yeah, I'm putting her more at, like, 13 uh, or 14. yes, that. Actually, I don't think older than 13. <laughs> eh, anyway. That is commonly referred to as a goho... Eh, what am I? A door of return, I mean. If you enter that door, you can return to the town in an instant. This, this one has appeared because we have cleared the dungeon. But they are often encountered during normal exploration, too. I believe they usually appear roughly every five levels or so. Little. But wait, if we take this back to town when we're halfway in, don't we have to start all the way at the beginning again? Not at all. You can always head back to the floor that had the door on it. In fact, if you do not use a door, you do have a restart. So if we find a door, we should always use it? <laughs> Almost always. If we need to rest or unload, we should use the door. Remember, though, returning home takes time. Furthermore, leaving ends the current con current contract with our companion, and we would have to rehire him or choose a new one. If there is something specific in a dungeon that you desire, you can simply ignore the doors and press onward. Alrighty, then. I think we have to go home now, though. Quite so. Oh, just to be sure, in the future, please try to refer try to avoid referring to this as going home, yes? Okay? That's odd, I don't remember that line. Wonder if that has some sort of deeper meaning. <clears throat> it might be a joke. It might be a joke, yes. That's a good question. <laughs> Point. Anyway. Alright, we done good. Um, we're taking everything. Ah, oh, we have 18 items, nice. Yeah. All right. What am I doing? Uh, let's check out the pub, town square, and and then we'll head home. Cause going around the town places don't actually cause us to lose time. Looks like nobody's here. Oh, well, I wanted to get enough. a drink. 
<clears throat> Looks like nobody's here either. <sighs> Alright, heading home. So, I haven't me uh, mentioned failure conditions yet for this game because we are on a time limit. But it is, again, part of one of the great, well-designed parts of this game. And we will show you that when we start the next day, which we will do in just a second. Exceeded expectations. That means we're on pace for, uh, you know, being okay. And here we go. Reset, may I have a moment, please? Sure, what's up? Concerning the debt. I have a suggestion concerning its repayment. You do? Paying it all back at once is wholly beyond your means. Seriously, that's a lot of zeros. So I recommend smaller weekly payments to slowly chip away at it. Wholly beyond? Uh, you know, you never told me how big Papa's debt is exactly. That is because you would faint if you found out. For now, it's a secret. Let's just say he took all of the money. You remember our previous conversation? I... I... Faint? As the store begins to build up steam, we will increase payment size. The repayment date nearest to the current date, along with the amount due, will be displayed on the calendar in the main menu. Please be sure to check it regularly. Okay, huh? yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. How much right. do I have to pay now? So for now, we... Ten... Yes. Thousand. Ten thousand picks on the eighth day. Now, this calendar has 36 days because that is the duration of the game. If we can make it through all 36 days and pay off the final debt amount, then we win and it's over. And we also unlock an endless mode, which is cool. And like I said, that's something I haven't done yet. But, um... So it ramps up every day, but the thing is, if you fail and can't pay it, even though you start the game over on day one, you keep literally everything else, and your payment due doesn't change. So for example... It's all because I'm secretly a Time Lord. <sighs> so for example, um, when I inevitably fail this, by the time I do, hopefully it'll be the second or third week, and we'll have so much... Uh, so many goods that we'll be able to make up the first couple of weeks in an instant. And um, my one of my best online friends and fans, Crowbeak, uh, also known as Lena, who sometimes watches this channel, uh, said that she managed to beat the game using only one restart. I can't even fathom that. And uh, Kayla was telling me that some people are speed running it and may, or they can even like get through the game without ever going into a dungeon. Which is also completely insane. Um, as usual, when I play this, I'm not trying anything nuts. I'm just playing the game as it was meant to be played. So we are going to set up some items here. And then we are going to... Bah! I never noticed she did little hands when she puts an item down. Freaking adorable. The back scratcher's base price is 1,600 monies? Holy crap. Yeah, Someone will buy it. She's a little bit of a slide to her. Uh, let's see. Put up some of the slime stuff. Let's get rid of that. Forget why we have ingredients. We can use it to make items, and but I don't remember how. I think we'll head up to the Merchant's Guild after after we do this. So part of the other thing... Oh, hey, there's Louie. So part of the uh, strategy with selling people, selling to people is that their appearance is also giving away how much they're willing to spend. Like, old men, like this douche, has a certain amount that he's willing to spend. Crowbeak figured those out. I haven't. So, eh. My daughter-in-law asked me to pick this up. All right, so we're gonna start How much at should I? 30%. Wait, yeah, 30%. We'll see. If okay. He... So he's bitching, so we're gonna go down to 20%. And he's okay with that. Awesome. Thanks, please come again. Glee, I sold the sold worn sword for 240 picks. All right. Are you gonna buy anything, Louie? Oh, hi, welcome. All right. Again, we're going to start at 30%. He says no. 
Why am I having such a slowdown? We're gonna go to 20% and he's good for that. I should try 25% on old man. And uh, when it comes to... Louie? Yes! Okay. Hello, welcome to Reseteer. When an adventurer buys an item, he adds it to his permanent equipment. So I've been looking for this. Is it really for sale? Absolutely, and I will sell it to you at cost. When it comes to the adventurers, I always sell them their equipment at cost, because it helps them get stronger. Yeah, that sounds about right. Thanks! Please come again! Awesome. Yay, I sold Warren Sword for 200 picks! Adorbs. And... Oh, wow, four customers. Oh, hi! Welcome! Alright, let's try 25%. Nope. 25%, not a penny less. Wait, see? He's being a dick. He was fishing for a lower price. So that means old men, 25%. We need to remember that. Because the entire game only works in percentages. So we are going to go out on the town in tomorrow's episode, and we're going to hit up the uh, the Merchant's Guild and see what we're doing with these ingredients, because I kind of halfway don't remember what I'm doing with them. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Am I being sufficiently adorable? You're being very sufficiently adorable.